Hello, welcome to my channel, Pass and Move. Um, if you're wondering why this isn't called Zero to Hero now, it's called Dare to Win. Um, I found another channel, I think I mentioned in the last episode, that was named Zero to Hero, so I thought I, I just can't do it with knowing that there's another one out there. So, uh, yeah, Dare to Win is the new title of the rest of this series. Um, so this is going to be episode 7, season 1, with Hereford. I was hoping to come back and show you the playoffs, but things haven't quite worked out that way. As you can see, I'm sitting ninth, 70 points. I think last time we chatted, I was seven points off top. And as you can see, it's been a downhill curve ever since. Um, yeah, this speaks for itself, doesn't it? It's the, the drop off in form has been horrendous. So I've got two games left. I'm not sure I'm going to make the playoffs, hence I'm back for these two. Um, so yeah, we're going to play these two games, see what happens. Um, Transfer-wise, since last time you were here, I've got I've made one transfer. I've got one new guy in uh, in a club. I've got these two jo guys joining in the summer. All right, um, they've cost me zero, as you can see. They were released by their respective clubs, Fulham, Crystal Palace. I think I mentioned in the last episode, Visa come to me. He wasn't going to get a work permit, apparently, even though he played every game bar one. Um, and he wanted to leave. And lo and behold, as soon as I put him on the transfer list, as he requested a transfer, he was gone. Um, this team, Baroka, never heard of them before, came in. So off he goes. Um, that forced my hand a little bit. So uh, I have since then, I've, I've stuck with French. Okay. Um, He's doing all right. <laughs> Not. <laughs> 16 appearances, 29 goals. So with three clean sheets, that's 29 goals in 13 games. Two point something goals a game he's dropping in at the moment. Um, that could be why we've got the drop off. But I was thinking that I'd rather him play now and start to improve in areas um, than make the playoffs, lose the playoffs, lose the goalie and then have to start next season with a new goalkeeper that hasn't got to know the team right or wrong um that's how i chose to do it so yeah um the other new sign in um if we go tactics is robertson i believe it is robinson sorry um so i've signed him on a free again he was one of the ones that were released by arsenal no less um so i've signed him he's made four appearances for us one assist 6.8 you know, they've been released for a reason, but they're more than capable of playing at my level, I think. So, yeah, we're open to develop them, make a bit of money out of them, maybe, if need be. Financi finances, still sitting nice on half a million, um, which is roughly what we got. No, we got 600 and some thousand, didn't we, for that phantom um, sale we had just at start. So, wage-wise, I'm not spending anywhere near the budget. Um I've sort of settled in with my squad for this season. I, I could go out, could have gone out and spent loads on players. Um, so I'm going to do that next season. In the close season, I'm going to rebuild. Um, I've got a number of players here that I, I haven't been able to get rid of. Um, old players that I want gone. Um, Visa's going. This guy here is going, Tyrone Barnett. He hasn't made an appearance for me this season. He's just degrading every year. I'm going to get rid of the lone players. Again, I, I'm not picking the lone players now because I want to develop and play my own players. That's the way I do it. Um, yeah, so as you can see, a lot of the players I've bought in have got potential. I mean, Ryan Lloyd, I have no plans for him to be in the team, but he's come in and he's doing okay at two and a half stars. But at this level, I guess he's going to do that. But higher up, he, he, he's going to get found out. Dale Leave wants to leave. Um, he's not happy with his playing time. But again, he is one of the older guys. He's 28 years old. He's he's not he's there. He's as good as he gets. So so that's it for him. So um, yeah, it's been a bit of a disappointing end of the season. Like I said, we, the form drop-off has been... Oh, we were up with Gloucester. We beat Gloucester. We were two points ahead of Gloucester. Um, and yeah, we, we've just gone downhill since. We're, we're letting too many goals in, and I think that is the problem. So I'm going to address that in a close season. Um, looking at transfers and scouting. I mean, I haven't looked at scouting for a while now since the season closed, but there's not a lot out there, he says. 
Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm waiting now to the end of the season. So we're going to play the last two games today um, and see where we end up. I'm hoping on a, if we make the playoffs, if we win this game, um, these are bottom or towards the bottom of the league. We're in with a shout, I guess. But um, we'll play these two games and then I'll come back hopefully. Um, and we might do a, a playoff special with the season wrap up at the end. Okay, so I know I've already picked a team today. So here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we look in. Right, we're favourites. We should be winning this. We've been favourites most of the games and we haven't won them. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. So I think this is our last home game. We've been actually pulling in 2,000 a, a game. 2,000, you know, seats a game. So the fans are coming. Uh, they wanted to come and see Robinson when I first signed him. Uh, so the paper said. And, and yeah, we're, we're playing okay. Oh, and another one is uh, one of my central halves when I signed Robinson. Um, I think it was Thompson on the Eka, and that's a cracking finish, isn't it? Hey, everything, all the flags down. We're looking good. Referee's nowhere in sight, so that's got to be a good sign. So yeah, one nil. Yeah, um, Thompson, centre half. So I signed like a five foot nothing uh, midfield player, Robinson, and straight away Thompson threw toys out the pram that I'd signed this guy to play in his place, and oh, half a team was in agreement with him and. I'm sure you've all seen it just went downhill and I'm thinking maybe that's why we're struggling because I've got like half a team against me siding with the player and he's played every minute since he, he's made some catastrophic mistakes that have cost us games but I did sign him for the future so I do need to try and get him back on board and again if that takes the rest of this season and I'll have your oh then that's what we're gonna do Robinson oh so nice um yeah so Robinson could play um, I think he can play left, right and right through the centre from defensive midfield right up to attacking midfield. Um, he's only a youngster. He, he might come good. He might not. Um, it didn't cost me anything. And that's the beauty of playing at this level. You can risk players. No, 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 no. no. Oh, dear. Um, you can risk players signing players at this level. They don't cost you anything. So you don't lose a lot. Like when you're at the top, you're just signing players for 30, 40, 50, 60 million if they don't make it, then it, it it's hard to swallow, especially when you don't recuperate the money. Most of the players I sign, they're going to be worth, you know, a t 10 grand. And that's money in the bank, isn't it? So, so yeah. And this is, you know, we, we play well and then we don't. <laughs> so, and, that, and that's in the same game. We, we'll start a game strong uh, and then something happens and all the heads drop and, you know, um, yeah. It's been a difficult watch for sure. But like I said, we'll uh, play these last couple of games today, see where it takes us, see what happens. Um, and like I said, it, if nothing happens, then we'll go, that's cracking. That is absolute, oh, flag down, ref. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just, yeah, he's off. Um, so yeah, um, if we don't get into the playoffs, then we will just do... Um, an end of season wrap up uh, and that'll be it I guess for this season and we'll come back then next season after what I'll do is I'll do the transfers um, we don't do them until uh, beginning of July anyway and then we'll do like a season start special with some tra with some transfer news and whatnot and, and see where we're going next season I know that um, next season I really do have to perform because of board although they're happy with what we've do I've done this season finishing in the top half I think I'll have to check. I think they expect playoff place next season. So I'm going to actually demand a bit more today because I do want to win this. So but as you can see where I'm, it's, it's just all gone. I, you know, I'm not even making the chances now. It's all just gone pear shaped. And I've got, oh, he's playing normal today, uh, composed today. Last three or four games, disinterested. Um, not good. So we're going to be Mr. Lloyd on for Robinson. Augustus McGiff isn't playing well. So I'm going to move Miles' story up front and then bring Jack Holmes into there. And I think that'll do for now because... So you're talking with three subs, you, you've got to try and hold one back. Um, just in case, because I get a lot of injuries in the last 15-20 minutes. And I know I made a big thing about 
being part timers, not being fit enough. But look, in this league, nearly everybody there's only two or three teams that are full professional. Everybody else is semi professional. So, and this Woodthorpe through to Aviro. Aviro's had a crack his season. He's been signing the season, I think, along with Onyeka. Um, what's out to Shipley? And we've got in there straight away. Woodthorpe and he's away. He's played it straight over at Story. I knew he was going to. That's a move I've made of a, a change I've made a few times from out wide into the middle uh, to bring other players on with fitness, and he never fails to deliver. If I start him up there, it, you can forget it. You really can. He's the worst player on the pitch. But if you move in there uh, towards the end of a game, don't know whether I'll have to check his fitness. I don't know whether he's got um, good stamina and that. But yeah, he seems to find a space and score the goals. Oh, he'd out to Livermore. Livermore over the top. Story's going to get onto this. Can he get the ball into Onyeka in the middle? Come on. And he, oh. And yeah, that is the crunch with him. His passing's a, a woeful. Really is. He's, he just taps it to the nearest player to him. Whether it be ours or theirs. But yeah, we're holding on 2-1, 79 minutes. It would be nice to see this through now. Aviro, oh, first time ball into story, back to Aviro. Aviro, skin him. Oh, and he crossed to the back post on Yeka. No, he's going to leave it. No. Not sure either of them, Holmes or Onyeka, knew what to do with that then. So they left it to each other and Onyeka's going to score here. Oh, yes. Cracking finish. <laughs> a bit fortunate. I would say cracking finish. Every goal to me is a cracking finish if that counts for us. But, um... Well, yeah, can't complain at that, can we? 3-1, that's a good result. And you watch now, we'll get, get into the playoffs. Um, just to cause me a, a fixture problem with the videos. That's an own goal. It's going to be an own goal, isn't it? Unless it was on target. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, they've given it to Onyeka. I'm happy with that. And he's been a find. He's definitely been a find on Onyeka. He's played really well. Um... I've got scouts with like three and four on ability and potential for players, spotting players. And one of them put this on Yeka out of nowhere. Uh, most of the ones I get are, are no chance, you know. And then we're, oh, is no chance of signing them. They're either valued at a million pounds or they're, you know, they really are the bottom of the pile. But um, yeah, they've done good with on Yeka. But of course, at this level, you've got to be careful because even the director of football and everybody, their stats are that poor. Um, you can't trust it. And oh, what a finish from Onyeka. And he's, well, he's just proven that what I'm saying is right, isn't he? What a cracking effort that was. Over the moon with that. Aviro. Eye over. Headed clear, and Onyeka, first time on the volley, into the top, well, not into the top corner, but, oh, what a goal. Inch perfect. And I think we're, uh, I'm just playing out now, there's no point substituting, it would have been over. Um, what can I say? This would push us straight back into the playoffs, I expect, and there's me thinking we weren't going to make it. Um, nice work, everyone. Continue. And let's see where we are. There you go, seventh. So uh, it's in our own hands, a win, and we're in the playoffs. And that causes me an issue because I'll have to go away and think how I'm going to do it for the next video. So um, let's quickly move forward here. Who's our last game against? Last game is against Blythe. You are sixth. So, yeah, we, you know, a win and we're there. So Gloucester's in on Yekka on form. That was absolutely fantastic goal. It really was. Gloucester... And there, so if I go to dynamics, I'll show you this. Oh, where a new signing Josh Robinson will take his position in the team. This guy is a center half, you know, he's six foot two, jumper reach 13, head in 12. If I look at Robinson, who he thinks I've brought to replace him, he's five foot 10, jumper reach of eight, head in of 10. You know, he, he, he's. If I, if I was buying him as a defender, he'd be a full-back, nowhere near in the middle. But he does show as being a centre-half, which I don't. He's a natural there. So unless he's 18, unless he develops really, really fast, he's not going to make the stats to be a, a starting centre-half, is he? I'm thinking more defensive midfield with his tackling, his work rate and his teamwork. But we'll see. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, 
this has totally destroyed the morale in the team. He's turning up disinterested players that are backing him. It's, you know, I was in the green here. Now I'm in the red. I'm hoping to get it back. We'll see. So, not a lot there. I don't really watch the news feed, if I'm honest. Um, the social feed, rather. Newcastle beat Liverpool. Gloucester secure a playoff. So we'll just quickly run through these days to the next game. And here we are, final day of the season. I just flicked through the week a bit quick. Um, nothing exciting happening, except we are now um, on a takeover in progress. Um, whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. Um, yeah, this came up, rumours of a takeover, but we'll see. That's about the third time this season, so maybe there is a bit bit happening there. So let's get into the tactical meeting. Uh, no, I, I don't usually mess with this. I have a quick look over it just to see what's going on. Um, but nothing too much. So it's going to be an un unchanged side today. Um, they had the good win last time out. Uh, we are playing Blythe Spartans today. They're they're above us in the league in sixth place. So it's French in goal. Um, Bowman, Williams, Thompson and Woodthorpe at the back. Livermore and Robinson starting in the midfield. Story and Aviro, wide players. Okay, and then McGiff and Onyeka up front. Onyeka, I'm just going to mention about this guy. Um... 15 goals, and he hasn't started that much for us. Uh, 22 games, 13 goals in the league, 7.16. Expected goals, um, 10.78. What can I say? I'm, I'm over the moon with this guy. Um, yeah, he's been fantastic for me since we signed him. And he was on a free as well, which is even better. Uh, I don't think this shows value at the minute. You know, he's not valued at anything. Maybe if we can get up a league, it'll shoot up. But at the minute, I'm not going to let him go. I've got him, I'm, I think I've got him on a two-year, uh, yeah, to 24. So I've got him on another year's contract, yeah, I'll try and renew that start of next season. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So final game of the season then. Um, a win, and we're definitely in the playoffs. A draw, and it depends on other teams. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be assertive about this, because if they do carry on the last performance, we'll win this, because Blythe weren't that good earlier in the season. Uh, and here we go. Yeah, so we're playing Blythe at Blythe, and hopefully we're gonna. Oh, it's gonna get league table up. I'll wait till next. And we're in the red today, gents. So yeah, here we go. Bowman back to Williams, over the top on Yeka with the. Oh, that was unlucky. Keeper come out and gathered that well. And yet again, it's raining in on league football. So don't think any of these players have ever played in the sunshine. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes for the for the start. We're, uh, you know, I'm going to have to make some changes. I, I definitely think I'm going to have to look at another goalie um, for next season. Um, oh, he did well there, actually. Uh, Aviro's probably going to stay. I'm hoping to keep the back four together. I think they've done all right. Um, the goalie definitely need. I, I do need a, a better goalie. Um, midfield, I'm happy with the midfield. Maybe look at somebody to replace Lloyd. Uh, Robinson was bought to come in. I've got two players that are coming. Um, youngsters again over the top. And here we go. McGiff's through McGiff. He can score from here. Oh, just wide. That was unlucky. Nice effort. Um, yeah, so the midfield I'm pretty happy with. Um, I have been toying with dropping a centre uh, striker out and either playing with defensive midfielder or attacking midfielder. But I don't think we're good enough at this level to play 4 2 3 work. Um, this seems to give us some width I like. But I could always, you know, depending on how it goes, I could change it around actually during the games if I need to. And here we are, it's still nil nil. Bowman playing a long ball over the top from a gif. He's not going to get that. I don't think I've ever seen the guy jump. So maybe I preempt a towering header at the back post off a corner now. All being well. Um, so yeah, Blythe the players some nice football at the back, but then they lump it forward and we pick it up. Story didn't make any effort for that at all. He's managed to win the header there. Um, and yeah, they're passing it around nicely, aren't they? Over the top, he was offside. And I like how sometimes they see they know they're offside, they stop and they step back. That's, uh, you know, the realism of the matches is, is getting better each year, isn't it? And we got a deflection on that. Oh, missed the clearance, but yeah, it's gone behind for a corner. And I'm in again with this keeper. He's either really, really good or really, really bad. It's no in between. Um, you know, I don't think he's had a couple of clean sheets and that's it. But 
The scouts say he's a find of the century, but um, he's yet to prove it to me. So here we go, we're ninth, we're down. That drops us out of the playoffs, so we do need to go for a win here. And oh, ooh, yes! I thought it had gone in off post actually, and on Yekka tidies it up and makes sure he's offside. Oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> so yeah, we're going to have to go for it second half, I think. Fans are really up for this match for sure. Let's be assertive about that, but I'm also going to give him a little bit of individual luck. Uh, come on, you know, this way as well. We can really push him in the second half to, to do something. And here we go, second half's away. I'm, I'll give him 10 minutes and I'm going to demand more. And I think what we're going to do actually, because we might as well lose as, as a draw, haven't we? So yeah, I'm going to push him for attacking. And here we go, Williams. Head to Bowman, Bowman back to Williams, Williams forward to Robinson, out wide to Story. Story's getting down the wing, that's good, keep going my son. Back to Bowman. Bowman into Robinson, over the top for Onyeka. Onyeka, oh. Almost had his head took off there, but uh, yeah, they've cleared it. And we're in again with Livermore. Aviro, he can score from here, Aviro, I've seen this many times, and there you go. And that's 1-0. Now, do I go back to defend? No, we're staying attacking. I'll go positive or attacking, that's it. Or very attacking if we're losing by more than one. At 1-0 uh, up, we leave it at that. Livermore, he's been a good boy this season. Aviro, into the back post. Beautiful, beautiful finish. Simple, and he, he does pass it in. Absolutely cracking. So, yeah, let's keep this going now. I don't need to demand more now, so that saved me that aggro. And yeah, we're playing well. Let's keep it up, lads. We're shading everything here. Possession, chances. So 70 minutes is going to be where we need to think about making some changes. Story wins the header, but straight to Edwards. That story is there again. That's good play. Can he get it through? We've got to play it down the line. Wrong way. Over the top. Is Onyeka going to get on it? He could. He's picked up a yellow card somewhere. And that's 2-0. And that's us in the playoffs, guys. So I brought these two games in because I thought it was going to be the end of the season for us. And it looks like I'm going to have to try and fit another uh, episode in now to cover the playoffs. So it's only a one-game playoff. So I think... I'm not kidding myself. You know, I'm going to play you ever finished, what, fourth or fifth? No, I won't. Will I? It'll be... I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look. It is, isn't it? I play uh, away to fourth place if I finish last, don't I? In the playoff places, so, and then the winner of that plays an away leg to the second or third. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But, um, Onyeka, oh dear. And I was going to make a substitution and got talking and forgot all about it. So, we let this highlight finish and then we'll have a look. Um, they do pass the ball nicely, don't they, Blythe? Over the top for Scott, but Thompson's there. Livermore wins the header. Story oh, caught on the ball again. Oh, we've got it back. A Vero through for McGiff. Come on, McGiff. Oh, pushed off a ball on. Yekka's going to get that. Square it, square it. And he has. That's three. That would do me. That's that is fantastic football. I nearly said something I shouldn't have then. Uh, that is fantastic football. Absolutely love it when it goes right. Very depressing when it doesn't, but when it goes right, it really gets a blood pumping, doesn't it? Anybody that says it, they... Well, you've got to like football to get into it, I guess. What a finish from a gift. What a play by Onyeka. Absolutely fantastic. And pick the right ball. So 3-0. We're going to make some substitutions now. Uh, 12 minutes left. I want to bring Mr Lloyd on. And I'm going to replace Mr Robinson. Hey, we're looking at the back, because now I might have a... F oh, I'm going to start here. If I bring, ooh, yeah, I'll play him out of position. I'm sure he'll be fine. It's not the best, but uh, it'll get us through. And then I want to change one of these guys. I think Onyek is going to have to come out. So the story can go in there and then Holmes there. So yeah, that's the usual change for the front. And here we go then. Last, last 10 minutes, let's see what happens. I'm actually going to praise the guys because I give them a lot of grief. So yeah, let's give them prize. And, and for French, looking at a clean sheet here, he's got a 7. That's a rating. Forward to Story. Story. Come on, lay it out. He could have put that out wide. Oh, a lovely ball into McGiff. He's through again. And that's 4-0. Oh my God, we're running away with this. 
And remember, Blythe were above us in the league in sixth place, and we haven't looked capable of challenging for the last half a dozen games. And here we are, final game of the season, showing what we're really all about. McGiff's in there, and that's a fantastic finish. 4 0 on the day. Um, what can I say? I, I, I've got a like the cat with the cream here, big smile on the face. But just as I thought season was over and I was planning my holiday, um, they pull it out of the hat. And what do you think? Promotion favourites through the playoffs? Ooh, that still happens. Then that was a cracking finish by Scott. 4 1, and that's my clean sheet gone. But hey oh. I don't think 4 3. I'd have took 4 3 today at kickoff. I'd have took 1 0. But um, fantastic. And yeah, that's a cracking finish, isn't it? Yeah. French wouldn't have had a prayer with I don't think any goalie in the world would have. But yeah, we've done the business. The guys have gone out and they've done the business. So we let this finish. We get the league table up. You'll see where we are. I'm over the moon. They did the job. They did it. They really did. And here we go. We've actually finished sixth. So I think now we will get, finishing sixth, I think we will get Gloucester. Oh, that's a good word, isn't it? And I think Kitty will get Chester. No, Darlington's in the mix, aren't they? Sorry. We will get, we will get Darlington, won't we? Because Gloucester will get Chester. And then the winners out of that will play Spennymore or Kidderminster. And the winners out of that will play the winners of those two games. And that will be it. So we've technically got one, two, another three games to the end of the season. So what do we do now? I lose out on a promotion race to Hereford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team secure playoff spots. Darlington, Hereford and Chester. So the only important thing about um, getting a playoff spot is it was a supporters demand. They wanted us. So the board only wanted us to finish top half. But the, the supporters wanted us to make the playoffs, which we've done. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go away and see what happens now between now and the next game and i'll be back for the um first playoff game so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and and you know if you want to see how it goes for the next seasons and, and forward then hit that subscribe button thank you very